Today we are trying a secret ingredient that could really elevate this dish. Did it work? Let's find out. Okay, so today, nice big thick lump of steak. We're gonna do a simple uh, roasted garlic butter with some rosemary and thyme, and then the use of our secret ingredient, which we'll come to later. Then on the side, we're gonna do a sweet potato with some feta and a few other nice things. Okay, so first things first, we get the barbecue fired up and we need coal. Now Komodo Joe do their own coal, but where I am in Hertfordshire, it's, uh, it's quite expensive. So I go for uh, Big K. And it's just better value and on Amazon and whatnot, you can buy it in bulk. see it's still good size decent lumps um, and it burns quite well it's uh, quite a hard wood as well so you get a good uh, good cook time on it right next thing to do we need to get uh, this lit up so for this you've probably seen a few of my other videos I get a few of these uh, fire lighter blocks just throw them in the middle and then I used to use a lighter but a lighter takes forever. You get one of these on Amazon, a little uh, butane canister, and it is so much easier. Get these alight. Cool. Right. Get that shut, get the vents open, and leave that to warm up. Now the problem is it's April and it's just gone past six. So it's already getting dark here in the UK. So the problem when I did all this lighting is I didn't really think about shooting videos in the evening. So uh, if you wonder how I do it, I've got these studio lights, which help dramatically. And then when I'm over food, it looks okay, apart from the obvious shadows, but uh, there you go, thought I'd let you know. Okay, so for a quick garlic butter, um, one bob of garlic, cut off the bottom, like that. Grab some foil. Put it in like that. Got a bit of oil. salt pepper in there as well and then cut that up there you go and that gets thrown on the barbecue okay so barbecue's at 200 or so okay to get the grill in so some gloves Okay, so for cooking the steak today, um, I'm gonna sear it first, and then we're gonna cook it then indirectly up to the desired temp, which means that because of change in temps, I could cover this in foil um, and cook it that way, or I can just cheat. Cheat's the way forward. So clean it, then I need to just put some holes in it, and then I'll throw it in a air fryer for about 45 minutes, then I have literally the perfect sweet potato. Okay, so arguably a fork, probably a bit easier. Okay, so definitely probably excessive amounts of holes. Anyway, um, temp uh, 200 for 45 minutes. So it's running up to temperature, throw it in, go. Prep garlic butter. So 
to get these leaves off and prep. So then once the garlic is ready, then we can then just throw this all in. And let's uh, fast forward. This is boring. Okay, that should do. So let's get that into the bowl and all over the countertop. Great. Benefit of being outside. There we go. Sweep it up later. Okay, now onto the butter. Um, it's quite cold tonight, so it hasn't really softened much. So I might just soften the butter a little bit just to help it mix in with the uh, roasted garlic. So I'll go away and do that and be back in a sec. Okay, so. Now I said soften, not melted, but I pretty much melted this and had to put it in the freezer to uh, firm, up, firm up again a bit. There we go. Right. So let's give that a quick mix. So the idea is we add the roasted garlic, put in some cling film, wrap it up, throw it back in the freezer, um, and then when we need it, just slice a bit off. In, th in this instance then, throw it on the steak and then leave that to rest. Okay, right, onto the steak. So, steak, what do we need? Some olive oil. A little bit of salt, then that goes on the barbecue. Barbecue is at yeah, nearly 350, 340. So I think that's a good temp to give it, give it a good sear. Could be a bit hotter, but I'm getting impatient. All right, our garlic needs probably another five minutes and that should be done. Let's leave that to sear on the steak. Good, right, get that over. So, it's looking good. So now I'm gonna take that off and get that. Right now, while that's there, we just set up the barbecue for indirect. Then set just above the M. And this down to a fat finger, no, skinny finger. Perfect. Once the temps have come down, obviously I've just closed it, but the temps need to be around 200, and then we get the steak back in to bring it up to uh, the desired internals. Hopefully, there we go, somewhat charred, then we can just squeeze it all out, burn bits and all, it's all flavour. ready for our steak. Right, so the temperature's come down a bit. We're nearly at 200. I think time to get the steak on. Okay, so what is the secret ingredient? Dried mushrooms. In this instance, I'm using dried porcini mushrooms, but I mean, dried shiitake, whatever it is. But the understanding is this gives a really deep flavor 
when sprinkled over in a powder form. So we're going to try it. So, generous amount in the blender. Mmm, smells good. Okay, so this is possibly the magic powder. Let's wait and find out. resting now onto the sweet potato so this has been in the air fryer for 45 minutes at 200 look how perfect that is so we're going to keep this pretty simple a bit of butter in there Say a bit, I mean a lot. A bit of feta cheese in there. Again, when I say a bit, I mean a lot. There we go. And lastly, Gonna have a bit of a kick. So, a few pickled jalapenos, just dice them up. for an air fryer and super quick and easy right to the steak okay there we have it so it's been resting now for about 20 minutes time for a cup Okay, so obviously I've got to try the steak first. So let's get a slice out the middle. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Question is. Does the secret ingredient work? Absolutely. You have got to try this. Now, into sweet potato. Really simple. Mmm, and super yummy. I'm really good with the steak. Oh, love a bit. Look at that. Try it yourself guys, well worth it.